One recurring theme that frustrates many players in Last Day on Earth is the fact that Kefir, the developers behind LDOE, have made countless promises, shared exciting concepts, and teased several potential features, only for many of them to never materialize. Some of these broken promises involve various locations that have been teased over the years. Whether they were hinted at in global map visibility, shared through stunning concept art, or even briefly introduced as temporary content, these locations have long captured the imagination of LDOE players. But despite the buzz they generated, these locations were either left incomplete or abandoned entirely. It seems that the devs have chosen to completely forget these promises, as you will find many questions ignored by Kafir in their social media accounts. In today's video, we're going to take a closer look at some of these teased but unreleased locations. We'll dig into what they could have brought to the game and why they've remained locked away. By the end, we'll speculate on whether these locations will ever see the light of day, or if they become nothing more than forgotten relics of LDOE's development history. If you're a true Last Day on Earth Gorth player, then you already know exactly which location we're going to talk about first. It's an area that has been visible on the global map for years, always there, teasing players, but never actually accessible. Bunker Charlie is by far the most talked about, hyped up, and speculated upon location in the game's history. The idea of exploring a new bunker with new zombies, resources, bosses, and all the excitement that comes with it was enough to fuel the imaginations of players everywhere. But as we all know by now, Bunker Charlie has remained nothing more than a promise unfulfilled, a forgotten location that seems destined never to come. What makes Bunker Charlie stand out from other unreleased locations is the sheer mystery that surrounds it. Unlike some other teased areas, Kefir have remained completely silent about Bunker Charlie since it first appeared on the global map. There has been no official word about it, no sneak peeks, no development updates, not even a hint of whether they're still working on it or if it has been scrapped entirely. To this day, the only concrete information we have about Bunker Charlie is its visual presence on the global map. Players can see it, but it's locked behind the requirement of a helicopter, a vehicle that has also yet to be released. The fact that it's been sitting on the map for so long without any updates has created a sense of frustration and abandonment within the community. After all, it's been there for years, and the longer it stays untouched, the more it feels like a broken promise. Why the developers won't just give us an answer? Why not simply come out and say whether they still plan to add Bunker Charlie to the game or whether they've decided to abandon it entirely? Some transparency would go a long way in easing the frustration of players who have been waiting for this location for so long. Personally, I think that Bunker Charlie has become nothing more than a forgotten relic of LDOE's earlier development days. As exciting as it was when we first discovered it, I'm 99% confident that we will never see this long-awaited location added to the game. Over the years, it's become clear that Kafir has shifted its focus to adding temporary content and making changes to the Season Pass events rather than expanding permanent areas of the game. For that reason, I have zero hope left for Bunker Charlie. It's a location that in my opinion, is never going to see the light of day. While I would love to be wrong about this, and I know there are still some players out there who are holding on to the belief that Bunker Charlie will eventually be released. The reality is that we've had absolutely no updates or information about it for years. At this point, the most we can do is speculate, but without any real news from the developers, it's hard to imagine a scenario where Bunker Charlie finally becomes playable. Another location that has been visible on the global map for a long time but remains untouched is the oil rig. After unlocking the boat and repairing the island watchtower, players can see the oil rig sitting there, quietly waiting. But like Bunker Charlie, this area is remote and requires a helicopter to reach. And just like Bunker Charlie, the oil rig has never been discussed or elaborated upon by the developers. It's simply sitting there on the global map, untouched and unexplored for years, leaving players wondering whether it will ever be added to the game. Now, while the oil rig hasn't generated quite as much hype as Bunker Charlie, it's still a location that many players have hoped would be added eventually, especially alongside the much needed helicopter update. What makes the oil rig stand out is the potential it has to introduce completely new mechanics to last day on Earth. Imagine the possibilities for the oil rig. It could open the door to a range of new challenges and unique gameplay elements. Perhaps it could involve underwater exploration, 
where players would need specialized gear or oxygen tanks to dive deep into the ocean, scavenging for rare materials. There could be hazardous traps involving oil spills, fire, or other environmental dangers, requiring careful navigation and strategic thinking. Maybe the oil rig would introduce new types of enemies, creatures mutated by oil exposure, or rogue survivors trying to hoard the valuable resources found in the rig. The possibilities are truly endless. But we know Kefir. It's not exactly a secret that they have a tendency to dangle interesting ideas in front of players, only to ultimately prioritize other content. And by other content, I mean temporary updates that last for a weekend, then vanish without a trace. You know the type, limited time events that offer flashy rewards, but leave little lasting impact on the game as a whole. While these events can be fun in the short term, they don't satisfy the long-standing demands of the community for meaningful, permanent updates. So, if there's a 99% chance that Bunker Charlie will never see the light of day, I'd say there's a 200% chance that the oil rig will also remain a forgotten relic of LDOE. It's unfortunate, but that seems to be the reality we face. This is just another one of those abandoned features an exciting idea that has been left to gather dust on the global map, teasing new players who stumble upon it and wonder if it will ever be added. And like the rest of us, they'll eventually come to realize that the odds aren't in their favor. It's disappointing, really. The third location on our list is one that has intrigued players for quite some time. The suburbs. This area is visible on the global map and becomes accessible after players unlock the ATV and fix the watchtower. When players discover this new location, they are greeted with a description that piques their curiosity. What's there behind the collapsed bridge? Why is the radio show getting interrupted by the distress signals? More questions than answers. This place beckons and scares at the same time. With coming soon at the bottom, Players are left in a state of anticipation and speculation about when this exciting new area will finally be released. The concept of the suburbs has been teased since as far back as 2017, when developers shared sneak peeks of artwork that hinted at what players could expect. Since then, the community has been left wanting more constantly asking for updates and a release date. Unfortunately, the developers have remained tight-lipped, leaving players in the dark about the future of the suburbs. While there has been little concrete information about the release, the devs have recently teased some upcoming winter biome armor, which could potentially tie into the suburbs' release. This hint has sparked further speculation among players as they wonder if the armor is tied to the new location being added soon. Despite the lack of information on what exactly players can expect from the suburbs, we know that it will be situated in a snowy area in the northern region of the global map. The opportunity to explore a new environment could significantly enrich the overall gameplay experience, giving players new challenges and resources to discover. I have a strong sense of hope regarding the suburbs and believe it may be one of the next major updates in Last Day on Earth survival. Although it may not have the same level of excitement as Bunker Charlie or the oil rig, the suburbs still hold a lot of promise for new content. The last and final location on our list is quite different from the others we've discussed. Unlike Bunker Charlie, the oil rig, and the suburbs, the prison isn't visible on the global map. Instead, it was introduced a long time ago as a temporary event during Season 7, and since then, the developers at Kefir have seemingly forgotten about it. The prison was a big deal when it first came out. Players were excited about the unique gameplay it offered. Many players loved the experience and were left wondering whether this intriguing location would be a permanent addition to the game or just a fleeting event. However, after the season ended, the prison disappeared without leaving a trace, leaving players disappointed and longing for more. For those unfamiliar with the prison event, it was set up in an interesting way. Players would be kidnapped and then aided in their escape by a group of bikers. Once players broke free, they had the option to steal boxes of loot with the help of their newfound allies. The concept of a prison is, in my opinion, a great idea that could fit seamlessly into the last day on Earth world. With some thoughtful changes, the devs could have transformed this highly acclaimed temporary zone into a permanent location. Imagine the possibilities of exploring a large, sprawling prison filled with unique zombies and hidden loot. Players could engage in missions that involve rescuing NPCs, uncovering dark secrets about the prison, or defending it against waves of enemies. Unfortunately, instead of capitalizing on this potential, Kefir has allowed the prison to fade into obscurity. It's perplexing to see such a well-received event simply vanish, 
especially when the community clearly showed a desire for it to be more than just a temporary feature. Will the prison ever return? At this point, it remains uncertain. I wish I could say I have hope for its return, but the reality is that there have been no signs of it reappearing in the last couple of years since it was first introduced. The developers have not mentioned it at all, leaving players in the dark. This situation is yet another example of Kefir's long list of forgotten features, which can be frustrating for those who have invested time and energy into the game. Those were the four forgotten locations in Last Day on Earth, locations that were once highly anticipated but now are just forgotten memories. Will Kefir ever work and add these locations? We have no idea but let's hope that we can get at least some kind of big update in the near future. If you liked the video, consider subscribing as it would help me a lot. And of course, make sure to share your thoughts in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.